Welcome to the Paradise Falls Community Report. Today's weather, clear skies, calm waters, another perfect day in Paradise Falls. Pretty weird to me. Very. I like it. I mean, it's about time something good happened around here. Sarah Braga goes missing in the woods, and nothing's found except her purse just covered with blood. Well, it wasn't exactly covered. <laughs> I bet you she's dead. <sighs> Wouldn't that be creepy? And her body's like buried out there under some tree. Did you ever hear about that story? The kids go missing in the woods. No, I hate those stories. <laughs> Don't tell me. I gotta go out there with my aunt and show her where I found the purse. Your mom must be freaking. I mean, wasn't she a good friend of Mrs. Braggas? I haven't told her yet. She's crazy enough. <laughs> mm. What do you know about him? His name is David. He's cute. And he likes to sketch. And that's all? We just met. <sighs> Flower. Before you sleep with a guy, you want at least two references. We haven't slept together. I barely know him. Oh, yeah, just well enough to go skinny dipping in front of him. Hey, you know, you missed a spot. Hey, V. Hey. Hello. Morning. Hey, uh, have you seen Grandpa? He didn't come home last night. Yeah, he's on the boat. He came baying at my porthole. Um, I have something for you. Yeah, classic jewelry. Mr. Mel Gibson. <clears throat> Chasing Back Time by Nick Braga. You finished it. <laughs> oh, I'm so proud of <laughs> No, it's only a first draft, but I want you to read it, okay? And be kind. No honest criticism. I can't wait. <laughs> Are you open? Yeah, sure. We're always open, Charlie. Uh, I'll get someone for you. Pamela, customer. David. Hey, you forgot your towel. I didn't want you catching a cold. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes my mother just drives me nuts. I mean, last night, Michael's just walking me home, and she started yelling at him. You know what you should do. You should get a tattoo on your arm that says Michael. Yeah, right. Or you could get Sarah Braga on your arm, just like dripping with blood or something. You're a sicko. <laughs> and your point. Rocks. Over here. Oh, hey. You told her about the purse. She's my friend. Don't pull me over like that. And you didn't say anything about the money? I'm not stupid. I'm not gonna tell her that we stole something. Are you ready? Okay, go ahead. Careful where you go digging. <laughs> what do you want to do? Nothing. Do you want to hang out? Whatever. But if we find uh, dead bodies, I get to keep them alive. Ron! So, you're still here. Well, what's it like being back home? Makes me all warm and mushy. When's the bar open? I'll pour you a coffee. No, oh, I'm meeting Rose at two. It'll just keep me awake. <laughs> Don't suppose you have any wine back there? Something drier than a seven? Shift that. I'm done. 
Just working mornings this week. Think we could spend some time together? Think that could be arranged? Why don't you meet me in the dock in about a half hour? Okay, right. Nice to meet you, B. Hmm. Don't be a stranger. I'm leaving early. Hope you don't mind. Do I have a choice? Keep your clothes on this time. Jealous. <laughs> so is the mayor around? Yeah, yeah. he's in the uh, my houseboat. How sweet. What's he doing? Cocking your bathroom tiles? Something like that. This is one of the best views in Paradise Falls. Here you can see clear across the lake over to Fenmore. It certainly is beautiful. You're not supposed to be looking at me. You're supposed to be looking over there. I've seen water before. I'd rather look at you. Can I ask you something? You're not married, are you? <laughs> not yet. Any girlfriends I should know about? If you want, I can fill out a questionnaire. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. Look, you can ask me anything you want, but I warn you, I'm boring. You are not boring. You radiate a real positive energy. That's from sitting in front of a computer. <laughs> so you always uh, lived here? Two years. So you weren't always a waitress. You have your secrets, I have mine. It's not that we're not grateful, we are. But Jessica and I both agree that we should delay the wedding until we hear from Mom. No. No, what do you mean, no? You can't say no. Hey, Nick, you're my only grandson. I get one kick at the can. I want this wedding to be nice. Now, trust me, it's a blessing your mother's not here. She'd only get drunk. Oh, come on, she's not always like that. She is, and you know it. You want Jessica to see that? Right, and we don't want the whole town to see that, do yeah, we? Well, maybe the whole town shouldn't be invited. Nick, I don't want you getting married like some poor bugger. How would that look? I got some standing. Sit down, Louise, sit down. Now, don't you want this girl that you brought home to have a nice wedding? Now, we can give this to her, Nick. Let's do that for her, okay? Hey, I've only read the first chapter, but I like it's really good. And now, you know, I just can't wait to curl up with a tall glass of wine and read the rest of it. Wave again. Coffee down your pants. No one's been reported matching Sarah's description. I just think she could be out of town, but I want to make sure you didn't miss anything. I think it was around here somewhere. I know we ran past that tree stump. I thought you said you were by yourself when you found the purse. You didn't tell me you were with someone else. Yes, I did. I didn't. I, I was with Michael. We were uh, just bumming around. I didn't tell you. No, you didn't. Michael, you mean Michael Mansfield? He's really sweet. If you say so, I've broken up a few fights with a couple people who don't think he's so sweet. Hmm. Um, I think it was here. You sure? Pretty sure. I don't see anything else. What are you looking for? Anything unusual. Trish thinks Sarah's dead and buried somewhere out here. It's just a robbery. I'd be more concerned if there was money found in the purse. Someone took the money, threw the purse away. Tourists. There wasn't any money in the purse, was there? No. You would tell me if there was. If there was money in there, yeah, sure. Okay. Here are your pills. Let them I'll, I'll take them after breakfast. Breakfast is over. Take them now. Unless you want to have another heart attack. 
In that case, don't take the pills and I'll just call the ambulance. There. It's all gone. So how was your fishing trip in Fenmore? Did you catch anything? Nothing. The tourists take all the fish. Leave nothing for us. It's typical. Mm, I hear you, Dad. 20 years ago, you couldn't throw your line out without hitting five fish. Now you get five fish a season, you're lucky. Dad, I want to talk to you. I had a visitor yesterday. It was Yvonne. She came by the store. What does she want? She got my letter about your heart attack. You wrote her a letter when? About three months ago. It was when you were in the hospital. She has a right to know that you were sick, Dad. I am not sick. But you were sick. She thought I was dead, didn't she? She seemed very upset. Upset that I'm still breathing. Uh, you know what? I think we should get together and we should try and make some peace. No. She didn't come back for your mother's funeral. She is not welcome in this house. Daddy. She is not welcome in this house, Rose. Mayor Brega, could I steal a few moments of your time if you're not too busy? Well, come on and sit down. You know, my door is always open for my favorite sergeant at arms. Can I get you a drink? No, I'm okay. Thank you, sir. What can I do for you? It's about your daughter-in-law, Sarah Braga. What about her? Do you know where she is? <laughs> your guess is as good as mine. Sarah blows with the wind. Do you have a number where she could be reached? No. Nope. In fact, I can't even remember the last time I saw her. Then I don't suppose you know if she's coming back for Nick's wedding. What are all these questions about what's up? My niece found her purse in the woods yesterday. There was some blood on the bag. Well, whose blood? I don't know yet. Tests are being done. I think it's just a robbery. Well, I'd appreciate it if you didn't mention it to Nick. His wedding's coming up, and I don't want him worrying about his mother. I can't do that, sir. She could be hurt, and we have to try and contact her. <laughs> now she's, uh, she's not hurt. She's fine. I think we should organize a search. You said it yourself. You just got a purse. It's a robbery. Why should we start a whole bunch of rumors around town? What about the blood? Sergeant Hunter, my daughter-in-law has disappeared four times now this year. Every other time she's come back, tail between her legs, all she wants is a little attention. And I, for one, am not going to give it to her. And I'm not going to let you spoil our best tourist month by digging up half the woods. With or without your help, sir, I will find Sarah Braga. See, I work for an investment firm. I've got an office on the 27th floor that looks directly into another office with another poor Joe like me. You don't like it? I hate it. The hours are stupid. I have no social life. But the money, the money is ridiculous. I actually have people who sit at my desk and say, I have half a million dollars. Where should I put it? <sighs> what are you saying? Not what I want to. <laughs> anyway, last week I was coming off a long stretch. 18-hour days, I sort of cracked up. What'd you do? I threw my chair through a window. Out the 27th floor? Oh no, no, the window between my office and the next one. So now I'm on what they call a sabbatical. You need to rest. I need someone to rest with. Are you and Roxy serious? What's it to you? Nothing. Just asking. Her mom, she's some kind of freak. She just drinks too much. I took Rox home last night. Her mom starts yelling at me like a, a lunatic. Yeah, well, when I got my nose pierced, my mom didn't stop yelling for a week. But you know what really drove her crazy? What? Oh my god, that is so cool! I want to get another tattoo next. Picture Eeyore right on my ass. What's Eeyore? The donkey from Winnie the Pooh. Get it? It's an ass. An ass on my ass. What are you, dumb? Don't call me dumb. So you show me a tattoo after you get it done? You pay for it, I'll show it to you. Maybe I will. You gotta be nice to me. I come from a rich family.
He's not married, is he? Mayor Braga? No. Dorothea died years ago. Car accident. It was terrible. Marty was killed, too. He lost both his son and his wife in the same accident. Of course, that meant that Sarah lost her husband and Nick lost his father. I just asked if he was single. He kind of goes out with B. Hmm. And you? You ever walk down the aisle? No, I've never had the opportunity. I'm I, too I, busy playing nursemaid. I figured as much. How many times have you been married, Yvonne? Yvonne Bernini, Bigelow, Sanchez, Verster Garden. One was for honey, one was for money, and one was because I drank too much tequila on an empty stomach. I don't think you're going to find husband number four in Paradise Ball. <laughs> That's not why I'm here. Why are you here? To catch up with you, of course. So where'd you get the money from? I earned it. Right. Does Roxy know you have it? She didn't say anything to me. Does she tell you everything? Mm. Everything. And you tell her everything? Just the good stuff. Oh, I bet there's lots of good stuff. Well, I'm not like most of the boring freaks that live in this town. So do you need any help spending that money? You got any good ideas? Well, it's not the good ideas that are any fun. I'm assuming you told our father. I didn't know it was a secret. How'd he take it? He was surprised. He had a conniptions more like it. Don't suppose it killed him? No, I'm not that lucky. He doesn't want to see you. Small world, I don't want to see him. How well does this store do? It does okay. I mean, does it make any real money? Do people actually buy these clothes? If you're having money problems, don't look at me. And I don't think Dad has any money either. He's got money. I give him an allowance. He's got money, he just doesn't like to spend it. But he's going to have to. Nice to see you haven't lost your scowl. Don't talk back. I don't want to hear you talking back to me. Please don't fight. I don't want to fight with her. I just wanted to go. We still have some unfinished business. Perhaps you want to talk more privately. I've got no unfinished business with you. You're the one who didn't even have the decency to show up for your own mother's funeral. What a hypocrite. You were glad I wasn't there. I have not forgiven you. He was asking you to. Get out! Get out! Yvonne, maybe, maybe you should go. You owe me. I'm going to get what's coming to me. Daddy, what is she talking about? I owe you nothing. What's that smell? Incense. Sandalwood. It's supposed to help you relax. <laughs> I didn't know I was nervous. I just want to ask you three questions, can I? Oh, do I get any lifelines? Just look at me in the mirror. What's your favorite food? Pizza. No, no, wait. I I'm going to switch that to hot dogs. Hot dogs. One word answers, please. What's your favorite dog? Lassie. Everything you've told me today, has it all been true? Absolutely. Look, I'm, I'm not very good with games. Is it over? Because I, I should go. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> How dare she talk to me like that? I told her, I said, Sarah's run off four times this year alone. If you organize a search party every time Sarah runs off, you couldn't throw a rock without hitting a fucking cop. B? Mm. I'm listening, and they'll find her. And um, the F word, thank you. They're not going to find her. I know. How do you know? Because I paid Sarah $5,000 to leave town. No. 
No. Pete, you didn't. I don't want that woman at Nick's wedding. Some drunken woman ruining my grandson's big day? I won't have it. She is his mother. She took the money, didn't she? I told her to leave town, and she did. They're not going to find anything. I just hope Nick doesn't find out about this. You better hope Nick doesn't find out about this. You won't. Evil thoughts and wicked sorts remain in shadows ever. Preserve my wit. I won't submit to evil thinking. Never.